Hi, this is Judy. We're continuing our series on the equipment you need to start out painting, uh, decorative painting. Um, acrylic brushes is what we're talking about first. We'll go into oil brushes later, um, but right now we're gonna start with acrylics because they are easier. The acrylic brushes go with the acrylic paints and they are uh, easier to use, more forgiving, and not quite as entailed as the oils are. We will get into that at a later date. Now this week we're going to talk about rounds. We call it rounds. They come in everything from a little tiny zero that um, has just a few bristles. These are great for uh, eyelashes, uh, hair on animals, something that you need a very, very small line for. And they can go to all the way up to a large round that is great for um, work on um, flower petals and um, bigger things that you need, uh, limbs on trees, grass, flower stems. Um, the bigger your project, the bigger your brush you're gonna need. They come in very short bristles up to very long bristles. The long bristle is great for um, painting long straight lines or um, trees, uh, things that, vines that go all the way around your picture. Things that you need a lot of paint for, you can use a long bristle round for, or long round brush for. They come in all sorts of bristles from uh, very soft sables to uh, stiffer, what we call bristle brushes. The synthetics are a lot better. You can use them for more mediums. Um, originally they were made from like uh, hog's hair or badger hair, um, anything that um, a bristle, a hair type of, fab of material can be used for. Those are what the round brushes are made of and you can use the medium size round brushes for doing lettering um, whatever you need, a more precise, uh, making curly cues, things that uh, they need to be almost exact um, curly cues or letters or straight lines that you don't want them to bleed out or to be fuzzy. The medium size rounds, ones, twos, um, they work great for that. Round brushes are used in just about every painting. I use them a lot, especially when I'm doing my landscapes for uh, finishing touches, such as leaves, grass, flowers, windows, um, things where you need like trim around a window or around a door or lines on boards of fences. Um, small, tiny little limbs on the trees. Something that you just barely can see but you and you need a definite, delicate touch to. A round brush will work for that. And you will find that you'll find, you will decide on the ones you like the best and it's a matter of trial and error. Find the ones that work good for you. I like Lowell Cornell. They work good for me and I use them almost exclusively. They hold their shape good and as long as you take care of them good, they last for a long, long time. And so that's why I buy several of these. In fact, I buy them in sets where I have lots of different sizes in the same kind of brush. Uh, there's lots of places you can get these brushes online uh, or at your local uh, art supply store. I use brushes from uh, Hawcraft, uh, Dick Blick, 
the brush guys uh, different there are different places online and you just go in go try to google them and just say you need um, acrylic decorative art painting brushes and they will bring up a list of places you can get those this is Judy I'm glad you've been with me today I hope this helps in your determining what you need and we'll continue next time on uh, with specialty brushes that uh, you don't use very often, but every now and then you will need. God bless you and hope you come back again. Thank you. This is Judy. Goodbye.